Oh, hi, Boo. Oh, hi, Boo. Can't see seeing you here. <laughs> it is Saturday. It is Sunday morning. We're gonna try and have a very productive day because yesterday was filled with relaxation. One of the things I wanna try and figure out today is whether or not the heart rate monitor on my watch actually works. Uh, so this week I'm gonna wear my Android Wear device or my Wear OS device kind of every day uh, and then report back on some of the results, see if it's useful to me. So this is a demos with Angular behind the scenes. Steph is setting up the camera and the lights. Uh, she's got me framed a little bit better than normal. She's got some nice bokeh. We just did a firmware update and the autofocus is even better on the GH5. Definitely recommend that firmware update. Uh, and now we're gonna try and see if we can get some uh, good clips with some good content. Should be fun. My director's having some fun moving the camera. What the hell? When you make all of your own videos, you have to do all your own lighting too. Hi, boo. Just finished filming a bunch of demos with Angular content. I'm really excited because I feel like future content is going to be way higher quality than it's been in the past. Huge thank you to Stephanie for helping me with this. You finally got your ramen, boo. Yes. Ooh, ramen. Best ramen in the Bay Area. <laughs> Absolutely adore some ice cream right now, but I gotta remember the pact. Speaking of sugary sweet snacks, there's actually a store that I can't eat in at all. It's called, it's just sugar. It's sugar. It's just candy. Lots and lots of candy. Road rage happening up in here. So we've gone to the mall, we've driven around in a bird, the electric scooter, which was a lot of fun. Next up, I wanna use a company and a tool called Drone Deploy to actually automate my drone flying around the neighborhood and we're gonna make a 2D map of the neighborhood that we live in. Hopefully we don't get trouble with the neighbors, but I, I love having maps and pictures of kind of where I live and my space, so I'm gonna do it anyway. This will also be my first time trying out the new Mavic Air, which I'm really excited about. After having owned about three different drones from DJI, I should have known better. Whenever you buy a DJI drone, it always needs like a bunch of firmware updates. And then whenever you want to fly it after not flying it for a couple months, it needs a bunch of firmware updates. So that's what we are waiting for right now. As soon as that's ready, we should be able to fly. Why on earth won't it let me launch the application? Silly drone. All right, three phones later, and I think we found a phone that's not running the Android P beta, and so we might actually be able to fly. All right, it is new, nearly. All right, it is nearly two hours later, and we're going to try a new piece of technology. We're going to go back to the iPhone 6 and see if the DJI software and the drone deploy software are more compatible with the iPhone 6, which is would be really weird and sad. Just getting the DJI app installed so that everything should be ready to go. So the sun has already set, and I don't know if these pictures are going to be any good, but we're going to give this one last try tonight. So I forgot a critical factor. This is DJI, and so we are updating again. So this is almost hilarious after around, I don't know, two, three hours of switching phones, uninstalling, reinstalling, switching batteries out, charging everything, updating firmware, I find out that Drone Deploy does not yet support the Mavic Air. Wow, I wish that something somewhere in the process had told me this earlier so I didn't waste all that time. I guess uh, another weekend I'm gonna have to try this out with my Phantom 4, uh, but other than that, very disappointed, very frustrated. So we should be sleeping, but Steph and I just did the calculations for what it would cost to put in a solar system for the last hour. It's looking good, 
And if you use something like net present value calculation, it looks really, really good. But we just want to make sure from a risk standpoint that we're doing the right thing. We also have to decide how many power walls we want. Wahahaha. So one last challenge remains for this very productive weekend. We have to handle all of the clothes from the laundry we did today. Then off to sleep. Good night.